Okay, this lecture is about how to prevent kidney stones. And so calciuria means increased calcium excretion in the urine, and that's associated with increased risk of kidney stones. So the biggest risk factor is animal protein. So you wanna avoid all meat. Um, that includes fish, that includes eggs, beef, you name it. Avoid all that stuff, because it's bad for you in multiple ways. Besides increasing your risk of metabolic acidosis and calciuria, it increases your urate, and meat bad for you in 30 other ways as well. So no meat, not one bite. That's another thing too is most people, when I talk to them, they're kind of hopeless. They don't understand. When I say no meat, I mean no meat, not one bite. And you could say, the other thing too, I've had a lot of people, I talk to them about nutrition, and they think I'm being mean or something when I say, oh, no meat, no sweets, like, like I'm depriving them of their joy in life. I'm like, hey, you could do whatever you want, you know, whether or not you destroy yourself and get sick. That makes no difference to me. I'm just trying to help you, okay? Uh, most patients, they sort of have this idea that, oh, these things, bad things probably won't happen to me. The other thing they often tell me is, you know, some uncle or something lived to, you know, 85 or 90 or something. I've looked at the brains a lot of these 80-somethings, 90-somethings, and their brains usually look terrible. American brains are usually full of a bunch of silent strokes, and I do procedures on old people. Most of these old people, they're real cognitively slow. I mean, just because you make it to 85 or 90, if you're cognitively slow or half-demented, that's not so great. Uh, you want to make it to 85, 90, 95 with a nice, clean brain and be mentally sharp. Okay, so number one risk factor, avoid all meat, not one bite. Animal protein has more sulfur-containing amino acids like cysteine and methionine. These are associated with uh, part of them being degraded to sulfuric acid, causing a metabolic acidosis. And now there's different theories of this. The traditional theory is that the metabolic acidosis caused by the sulfuric acid from the sulfur amino acids is buffered by leaching calcium from the bones and then the calcium leach from the bones is excreted by the kidneys and you pee it out. That's sort of the way you pee your bones into the toilet and that's sort of an old theory. You know, in some other books like Garth Davis's book, he says, oh, we think some of the calcium is coming from the muscle. Okay, and then I've heard other theories that, oh no, it's just because the animal protein causes increased calcium uh, absorption from the gut and then that calcium itself is excreted into the kidneys. Well, either way, higher animal protein intake is associated with more osteoporosis. Higher animal intake is associated with more calciuria, so more stones. So regardless of what theory ends up being the most accurate, animal protein still is bad for you in both ways. It increases osteoporosis risk and it increases your risk of kidney stones. So you want to avoid it. Good to eat more fruits, helps to alkalinize the urine, decreases your risk of kidney stones. Also vegetables, other than avoid the so-called oxalate vegetables, if you have hyperoxaluria, meaning increased oxalate excretion in the kidneys, things like you know spinach, for example, nuts, rhubarb, or some of the things associated with that. But only about one third of stone formers have hyperoxaluria, you know, increased oxalate in their urine. Okay, so avoiding meat, number one priority. Number two is avoid excessive dietary sodium. Um, being fat having obesity, metabolic syndrome, diabetes are all associated with increased risk of kidney stones. So what do you want to do with that? Just avoid fat, which means no oil. Avoid processed food because it's usually got oil in it. Um, I would avoid anything with high fat. Um, I, I've also had several people tell me that, you know, just really getting their fat down has really helped them control their blood pressure, for example, which then lowers your risk of atherosclerosis, stroke, and dementia. So that's a big deal. Um, increased calcium excretion from the kidneys is associated with increased calcium precipitating in the kidney tubules. And that, of course, can lead to kidney stone formation. It also just plugs up the kidney tubules, decreases the ability of the kidney to filter the blood. So you gradually drift into worsening kidney failure. Um, and so protein is what's got nitrogen. There's no nitrogen in fat or in carbohydrates. So the more protein you eat, the more you're putting a load, a workload onto your kidneys. And you're also increasing this calciuria, especially it's the animal protein in particular, thought because of the uh, acid-producing sulfuric uh, amino acids that are more common in meat. Uh, kidney tubule calcification can precipitate to form kidney stones. It also, like I said, predisposes to kidney failure over time. Kidney stones dislodged into the ureter can be very painful because the ureter tries to peristalse around them. Once a person's a stone former, they've got little bits of calcium, I've seen them on their CAT scans, all over the place precipitated, little tiny microparticles that are non-obstructive initially. So they're predisposed to keep on forming kidney stones for life. And I've seen lots of kidney stone patients have multiple kidney stones. 
One day we're taking out a stone in one kidney, then a year later we're taking out a stone in the other kidney. I used to put in a lot of nephrostomy tubes for percutaneous nephrolithotomy, stone removal procedures. Um, once a stone remover, like I said, so get your act together and you'll be less, much less likely to have a recurrent stone. Stone's super painful. My dad had one, he said it was like being kicked by a horse. Okay, avoid excessive dietary sodium and things that cause increased dietary sodium. Um, so eat less salt, avoid the processed food. Um, avoid caffeine, causes increased sodium excretion in the urine, stress, sleep deprivation, corticosteroid medications, um, excessive dietary vitamin D. All of these things can increase calciuria. Um, avoid excessive amounts of industrial fructose like in processed foods, you know, sweetened beverages in particular. They can lead to increased uric acid. Meat will increase uric acid. Uric acid increases the risk of urate kidney stones. Um, it also increased uh, excessive... Uh, industrial fructose. When I say industrial fructose, I mean the stuff added to processed food like sweetened beverages will increase sodium absorption in the gut, increase sodium absorption from the kidneys, so it'll push up your blood sodium levels. Um, if, if dietary oxalates are relevant to you, um, let's say you get your urine checked and it has high oxaluria, you can then avoid these things that tend to have a lot of oxalates in them, the nuts, the almonds, spinach, and rhubarb. Um, stay hydrated, you know, that helps prevent uh, precipitation of stones and you know just some starches that are pretty well hydrated a lot of fruits are well hydrated oatmeal quinoa to a lesser extent rice and potatoes so hope that'll help you with uh, preventing stones